Welcome back. Here's a look at our Tower Cam time lapse. Valley News Live Storm Team Sky Cam Network shot in Fargo with sunny skies to start the day and more clouds moving south to north as we made our way into the afternoon. Temperatures a little below normal for this time of year by a few degrees. We're at 76 right now in Fargo, lower 70s into Lakes Country, some upper 70s from Jamestown, the Northern Valley into northwestern Minnesota, and where they got the most sunshine into the Devil's Lake Basin, they're into the lower 80s. Now the uh, winds have been breezy to windy with that southerly wind uh, pretty uh, really warming us up that combined with the sunshine we're seeing wind speeds say 15 to some places 30 miles per hour and we do have some clouds up and down the Red River Valley right now more sunshine from Jamestown to Devil's Lake out toward uh, say the uh, Red Lake area and uh, as you make your way into the Bemidji area everybody else is seeing partly to mostly cloudy skies as of right now a couple of low pressure systems just off to our south and to our north are affecting the weather out there. High pressure's in charge of our forecast now. That will change as we go through the day tomorrow as that cold front makes its way through and there's a chance of some thunderstorms. But let's take a look at the hour by hour forecast. Just isolated thunderstorms possible through this evening. Mostly cloudy skies overspreading the area. Best chance for some showers and thunderstorms into Lakes Country and maybe the far southern valley. Most of us are going to be dry through the overnight period and then by tomorrow afternoon some more storms developing mainly from our southern counties to our eastern counties and this uh, best timing for one or two of them to become severe is into the late afternoon and early evening the further north and west you get the more sunshine you are going to see with temperatures tomorrow just slightly warmer than they were today most of us into the upper 70s to near 80 and then that activity is gone by around the midnight hour. We will have mostly clear skies during the overnight. A marginal risk of severe weather from the Red River Valley points off to the east for tomorrow, meaning one or two storms might become severe with the better risk for severe weather into eastern South Dakota. Then for the day on Saturday, plenty of sunshine, maybe a chilly start in the morning with temperatures into the uh, 50s and then high temperatures for your Saturday into the mid 70s to near 80 degrees. Still plenty of sunshine. Here's the photo of the day, a nice yellow bird having a meal. Uh, this is in West Fargo. Thank you, Christine, for this one using the background of the seven-day forecast. And there's your possible severe chance for Friday, a high of 78, and sunny on Saturday, a high of 80. Chance of some showers and thunderstorms for your Sunday, high of 78. And then for Labor Day Monday, partly cloudy, up to 84. And then an active weather pattern, some good rains possible Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday as temperatures fall from near 80 by Tuesday to all the way to 70. It's going to be a lot cooler by this time next week. If you need rain, a lot <laughs> of chances out there. Yep, and next week will be cooler, but there's mm. some good chances of some rain. Okay, thanks, Justin. Mm -hmm. A surprising new twist in the child abuse case involving a New Mexico compound in which 11 children were found emaciated. Prosecutors also accuse the adults in the group of planning terror attacks. Three of the defendants have been released from jail. The charges against them dropped because prosecutors failed to hold a preliminary hearing within the required 10 days. Two of the defendants remain in custody. Gaddy Schwartz has new details about the suspects' alleged terror plans. It is disturbing to me that the district attorney would put this court in that kind of a situation. Seeming at times irritated, the judge said he had no choice but to free three of the five defendants after prosecutors failed to hold a preliminary hearing within 10 days. I must dismiss these charges. The court noting the district attorney's office could have requested an extension for extraordinary circumstances, but didn't. Prosecutors can refile charges against the three who were released. Suspects Siraj Wahaj and his partner Janie Lavelle remain in custody on charges of child abuse leading to the death of three-year-old Abdul Ghani Wahaj. His body discovered after the raid in this underground tunnel. The criminal complaint says the couple denied Abdul Ghani medical treatment and medication. The failure to provide medical treatment and or prescribed medications caused AG's death. This week, the body was returned to Georgia, where the boy's mother lives. Meanwhile, authorities have revealed some of the evidence found at the compound, a journal they say was written by Janie Lavelle describing, quote, phases of a terrorist attack. According to, to prosecutors, to interviews with some of the children revealed that, quote, Miss Lavelle intended to confront corrupt institutions or individuals such as the military, big businesses, CIA, teachers, schools, and reveal the truth to these corrupt institutions or individuals. 
Wahaj was to shoot or otherwise attack the non-believer, according to the affidavit. There have been some questions and criticism about law enforcement's handling of the case. Overnight, the Taos County Sheriff releasing a statement on Facebook saying in part, I will defend that TCSO stepped up and put the search warrants and charges together lawfully and correctly. The FBI declining repeated requests for comment from NBC News, including why weapons and other potential evidence were left behind and why authorities later destroyed much of the compound. The sheriff saying the compound land is an evidence that everything there was collected, photographed and documented properly. The other 11 children are still in foster care. The three defendants who are now free are expected to stay in Taos County. The conditions as far as remaining in the county are as long as that criminal trespass case is pending and we'll do what we can to try to make that case go away as soon as possible. The sheriff says the three released can still be recharged and that he hopes it happens today, but that it has to be done by the prosecuting attorneys at this point and not law enforcement. Coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, new information about the approved location of a marijuana grower in the Fargo area. It's one of only two in the state of North Dakota and is linked to medical marijuana. But first, more evidence that babies exposed to drugs in the womb could have learning problems later in life. The Storm Team, experienced and ready, on the go, with you. It's the final days of the Ford Summer Sales Event. The there are only a few days left to take advantage of great deals, like 0% financing for 60 months on the built Ford Tough F-150. So hurry and save big on Ford, America's best-selling brand. Get 0% financing for 60 months plus 2,800 bonus cash on a 2018 F-150 XLT equipped with 2.7 liter EcoBoost. Labor Day weekend is almost here and Fleet Farm has deals on everything you need to entertain your friends and family. Like Pepsi 12 packs, three for just $9.99. Ballpipe canning jars, $6.99. Charbroil performance four burner gas groups, only $199.99 and 40-pound bags of black oil sunflower seeds on sale for just $13.99. Fleet Farm is built for every season. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Prepare to be blown away by flavor. Denali, a badge of honor for the relentless, who never tire of striving for the best. This is your invitation to upgrade. The GMC Denali Invitation, going on now. Visit your GMC dealer today. Get over 9,300 total value on select 2018 GMC 1500 Denali models, or get over 10,600 total value on the Sierra 1500 Denali when you finance through GM Financial. In tonight's Healthier Me, new statistics from the CDC reveal most opioid-related deaths involve illegal drugs. More than 42,000 Americans died from an opioid overdose in 2016. Illegal opioids, like heroin and fentanyl, were detected in three out of four of these deaths. Nearly 20% involved prescription opioids. And although bystanders were present in just under half of these deaths, they rarely administered naloxone, a drug used to reverse the effects of an opioid. Overdose. Children exposed to addictive drugs in the womb are more likely to have learning disabilities. A new study from the Tennessee Department of Health uh, tracked more than 7,000 young children. Those born with drugs in their system were more likely to have learning problems and require special education. Developmental and speech delays were the most common disabilities among these children. Stay with us. We'll take another look at your evening weather planner with Justin right after this. Labor Day is a great time for all of us here at Carl's to say thank you. 
And to show our appreciation, we have savings store-wide. Save big on beautiful four-piece kitchen packages. We have a surplus of laundry pairs priced to move. Or a new barbecue grill. Check out the new Serta sleep system in the Carl's Sleep Zone. Or relax in a new recliner as you watch your new Sony HD TV from Carl's. Happy Labor Day from all of us here at Carl's. Carl's, your servicing dealer since 1956. Welcome to Toyota's National Clearance Event. Only happens once a year. We've got the last of the 2018s. We have amazing deals. Great lease deals. Deals so good. I wish I came up with it, but... <laughs> Get in here. Toyota's National Clearance Event is the best part of summer. Right now, get $1,500 customer cash on a new 2018 Highlander or lease a new 2018 Highlander for just $299 per month. I think we need more signs. Toyota, let's go places. Our nation has a serious problem with illegal immigration. I voted against sanctuary cities because federal tax dollars shouldn't go to cities that hide illegal immigrants, especially those who commit violent crimes. It's hard to understand why Heidi Heitkamp, who's a former attorney general, voted to fund sanctuary cities that ignore the rule of law and put our citizens and law enforcement officers at risk. I don't believe that breaking the law deserves a reward of our tax dollars. I'm Kevin Kramer, candidate for Senate, and I approve this message. Some of the world's best apples were developed here in Minnesota. Varieties like Honeycrisp taste better when they're Minnesota grown. That means it's easy and tasty to buy local. Just look for the Minnesota Grown label. Go to minnesotagrown.com to find an orchard near you. It's Mattress Firm's biggest Labor Day event ever. Save up to $1,000 store-wide with every size, every comfort on sale. And right now, get a free adjustable base on almost every Sealy mattress. Or buy a king for the price of a queen, or a queen for the price of a twin. Experience Tempur-Pedic and save $550. Or get a free adjustable base upgrade on select Tempur-Pedic mattresses. Plus six years interest-free financing. Save money, sleep happy tonight. Mattress Firm's amazing Labor Day sale starts now. You had made the decision before they came in. I was going to fire Connie. That is fire being pushed by the wind. Our escort said we simply can't. I mean, the the insist that And we'll have mostly cloudy skies this evening. Isolated showers and thunderstorms, especially in lace country, as temperatures fall back through the 70s. But the wind will start to die down through the evening. Now, for the day tomorrow, we will keep uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies with a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. Some of them could be severe, especially into lakes country, with high temperatures tomorrow a little warmer than today, into the mid-70s to near 80 degrees. And then for Saturday, we got sunny skies and a high of 80, with a chance of some showers and storms on Sunday and 78, partly cloudy, warm for Labor Day, Monday a high of 84, and more rain chances with possible thunder Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday as temperatures fall back through the 70s, and some areas could get a good amount of rain through mid next week. We were silently cheering here in the studio when you said the wind is going to die mm -hmm. out. Yeah, yeah. Through the evening. We're waiting for it to die down. Thanks, Justin. Yep. Have a good night, everyone. Join us for the River Gun Show Friday, September 7th at the Red River Marksmanship Center. Four big days, four locations, over 800 used vehicles with prices slashed to sell. It only happens once a year. Corwin Automotive's used Labor Day liquidation. Now through Monday, get the lowest prices of the year on the state's largest selection of used vehicles. All makes and models clearly marked with liquidation prices. No negotiations necessary. The sale ends at 8 p.m. Monday and will not be extended. Corwin Automotive's used Labor